Hey everybody, it's Naomi and Steve. Again. <laughs> Still at the Haunted Victorian, which is so beautiful. We are actually here with uh, two folks that were um, had experiences here at the house and are actually featured in the book. We have Lucky and Candace, and they're from New England Paranormal Society. And the founders. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, if you guys could bless with like some pretty cool stories from your experiences Absolutely. here, that would be awesome. One of the stories that was in Joan's book actually took place here in this room. Mm -hmm. Last year we were doing a tour, mm -hmm. and um, um, we had broke up into three groups. And I was fortunate enough to come into this room first with five other women. Mm -hmm. And I knew the history of the room and you know, sorry, mm -hmm. and his um, love for whiskey and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. So I made sure I brought some trigger objects with me. I bought a little nip of whiskey and a cigarette, and I unfortunately, when we were in the room doing our investigation, um, I didn't have it in my bag. So I said, you know, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go down and get some, some treats. So I couldn't find my whiskey and the cigarette. Mm -hmm. I must have left it at home, I guess. I think I had it. <laughs> or Candace had, had it down in the basement or something, careful. right? So I came back, and I'm like, you know, I can't find your whiskey or your cigarettes. I'm so, so sorry. And then... All the women started giggling. They're like, okay, we can bring them across the street to the bar when we're done. Don't worry about it. So we went on doing our investigation that evening. And a couple of days later, one of the women that, were, that was here sent us an email and said, I think you guys need to listen to this. And we're like, okay. So Candace plugged it into the software. And we heard the whole conversation that was going on in the room that night. Now, mind you, again, there was all women here. Mm -hmm. And right after I said, well, I can't find your whiskey, and then the girls started giggling and said, we'll take him across the street, and a very distinct, very scary man's voice said, I've already had my whiskey, bitch. Oh. So, wow. yeah, and we slowed it down. I mean, we <laughs> critiqued it. We tried to debunk it. There was no men in the room, but that was the most fascinating thing that we caught wow. out of this house. And it was really, it was just, there was not even a breath had, had been taken after we started giggling, and all of a sudden he just he just said it. So it wasn't like we were waiting ten minutes for it. He was the, he was like reactory. It was really right. intense. It was really cool. Wow. It was really really cool. Wow. So, I'd be like, <laughs> I mean, you, you can definitely drink some whiskey. Are you right? <laughs> but it was really fascinating. I mean, we we just couldn't. We looked at each other and goes, we got something really good here. Well, yeah. the woman did. And she allowed us to use it in the book and all that. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was now, really great. Do you have that EVP somewhere for our listeners? We do. So she does. Um, yes. I don't know if it's on, I have to find I think that. it's on SoundCloud, but we could actually yeah. send you guys the link for it. And yeah. wow. you, won't, you, won't, you, won't believe, it. you won't believe it. I really. have some other stuff from the house here, too. Nice and that the most recent thing that I've gotten that was pretty compelling was um, we were over in the copper room. Mm -hmm. And everyone was standing around the room, and no one was on the bed, but the reporter was on the bed. And... You could hear the voices until they were further away, but when I listened to it later, you could hear a male voice close to the kind of close to the reporter saying, it's 10 years. And we can't figure out who it is. I mean, we can't figure out why the 10 years was so synonymous or why he was right. trying to give us a sign that was for 10 amazing. years, but, but that was something else that we captured too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And some movement on the couch. My videographer, Debbie Ward, I'll give her credit for it, was in the house by herself before we did another investigation. She wanted to get some what we call B-roll shots, you know, the yeah. house. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and she came running downstairs and she was, you know, this woman is very serious. And what does it go? She's like, I'm not going back in the house. I'm like, what happened? She goes, I was on the third floor and I was filming where the cistern is and I was panning this way to get it and the couch moved out three inches. That's what I was talking about. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so we... I read the book. So, <laughs> right? so we came up here with Marion because we mm -hmm. wanted to try to debunk it. Not saying that we didn't trust her, but there was no way anybody could fit behind that couch. I mean, right. we, we put, you know, people back there. We looked and stuff. I'm telling you, it was just unbelievable what she captured. So that's the, that's the, the really the three things that we were. Mm -hmm. Now, if I remember correctly, I have the um, Kindle version of the book. And um, there's actually a link. Yes. If you go and get the um, the Kindle version and you can download it to your phone, your iPad or whatever, and uh, there's links within the book that you can actually click on to get these right, links, the videos. Yes. yes. So, so yes. our listeners, <laughs> you want to, you know, go get that book. And I don't it's think it's very, very much. Um, I think it's like fifteen dollars. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, oh, on Kindle, I think it's five dollars or something. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fairly cheap. I don't know. Or you can remember. come down here. Right yeah. Now yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. A little bit of time. Left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um but yeah, definitely come and uh, check that out.
And uh, uh, I, I think that's all. Do you guys have any other like good stories about the place? Or um, the only other thing I had was I I did the what do you call it a hack shack. Yeah, and you just made one. I, I, uh, I made I, one. I called the crack shack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I did make one, and I um, I happened to be here one day just with Mary and a couple of people, mm-hmm. and um, Mary did ask questions and got. Solid Very answers. vivid answers. And it wasn't yeah. yes or no answers. It was how many women are, how many girls in the room, and it said five, and there were five of us. And mm-hmm. How many fingers am I holding up? And she had three up, and it said three. Yeah, that's so amazing. it was kind of really cool to see that they were able to use that and answer questions that weren't yes, no, or just right. You know, yeah, it really. I mean, we we really captured a lot. We're very fortunate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so many, yeah. so many spirits. In it, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. and yeah. different. You know, yeah. or different time frames. Yes, so, yeah, a whole lot. It's an amazing place. <laughs> we love it here. We're fascinated by it. I know. <laughs> um, if anybody wants to kind of check you guys out, do you have like a website we or do. Facebook yeah. or you want to share? Yep, it's New England Paranormal Society dot com, and we are an all female paranormal investigation team of New England. I know. <laughs> Chicks rock. <laughs> That's awesome. And you guys are out of close by to here. We live in Winchenden. We're out of Winchenden. Which yeah. is Mass. Yes, Massachusetts. <laughs> we have like people that watch us from like all We're over the country. Mass. Yes. Yeah. So wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any like upcoming events for you guys? There yeah. is. Actually at the Whitney Murdoch Mansion on one fifty one Front Street in Winchenden. Mm-hmm. Um it's the Winchenden Par- uh Winchenden Historical Society. Um it's haunted. We've done investigations there. We were there last year for Halloween. Mm-hmm. This year on October 25th, we're doing a lecture, mm-hmm. um, a history of the house, a catered buffet, and a four-hour paranormal investigation. Joni's going to be the guest speaker, and it's fifty dollars a person. Awesome. It's limited um, availability, but we're going to, you know, it's a Halloween event. Costumes right. it's optional. It's going to be fun, informative, yeah. food, you know, investigation. Food. I know, right? Food. Yeah, <laughs> a little, little bit of scary, a little bit of food. <laughs> Get the food out of and the house is absolutely yeah. breathtaking too. The, the historical society house is it's really gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. It's, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you guys my card and the little flowers we have for you. Awesome. Love to see you there. Absolutely. Well, you guys, thank you for taking all the time out. Oh, thank you. Day. It was an honor. Well, thank you for joining us and uh, and make sure you guys check them out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>